Labeling this latest news as exciting and monumental for Ghana's football development, Ford revealed that the facility, which is being dubbed by the Federation as the National Training Center, will be constructed by Greenfields, which has subcontracted local company Nabi & Sons. Uh, we are all aware that FIFA would have gone through several changes within its developmental arm over the past couple of years. I should say over the past year and a half. And uh, the, the, the new management at FIFA's development department wanted to have a situation where a single contractor is responsible for the entire works associated to the construction of the artificial turf. And as a result of that, the executive committee met with home design and engineering associates who were awarded a contract last year, and we were able to amicably resolve the matter re relating to their contract. And as it is right now, the project will be undertaken by Nabi and Sons, okay, who yes. is by Nabi. Uh, the, the works on the ground will be con con conducted by Nabi's, Nabi and Sons, who is contracted by Greenfield. Greenfield is the sole contractor for this phase of the work, um, but their subcontract is going to be Nabi and Sons. We wanted to ensure that we clear the air on that because many of you would have covered the press conference where the signing of that contract between the Ghana Football Federation, the Home Design and Engineering Associate took place. Ford added that the construction of the facility located at the Providence Community Center on the East Bank of Demerara is aimed at helping Guyana to consistently produce the best quality of footballers. So much of the conceptual design that you see is going to be tweaked um, a bit to ensure that the facility caters for the development of, the, of those athletes. We're going to be, um, as part of the, the grand facility that we're building, we're going to have gym, we're considering a cool down pool, um, we're, ensure, we're going to install uh, or build uh, 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 dorms where we can have um, lengthy encampment. We're also looking at um, a high quality um, catering and, and, and kitchen services. Um, we're going to try to create commercial spaces that can be uh, create opportunities for revenue for the Ghana Football Federation. So much of that work is going to commence after we would have completed phase one. The Federation is projecting the entire facility to be completed in a little over two years, Ford indicated. I can assure you it's going to make a tremendous impact on the way football is operated in Guyana. Much of the encampment services that we are involved in re um, really requires a massive investment from the Federation. As we have stated in the public before, it, uh, encamping a team comes at almost three to $400,000 a day. So with our facility, we'll be able to reduce that cost dramatically and at the same time prepare our athletes to compete at the highest level regionally and internationally. Phase 1, which Ford pointed out will start within seven days of September 26, 2017, is expected to be completed by mid-January. When complete, it will be the first state-of-the-art football facility, which will seek to, among others, produce consistent levels of highly competitive and exciting football that is a force to be reckoned with regionally and on the international scene. The facility will cater for football development among both males and females and will be the focal point for football activity at all levels of the game. Construction of the artificial turf will be done by Greenfields, a manufacturer of artificial turf. Following this, the accompanying amenities will be constructed. Reporting for Newsroom, I'm Avinash Ramsan.